Right, everyone, what's up? Chris here. Today we are talking about something very exciting. We don't have our hands on them yet, but Trek has just released the brand new 2022 Roscoe models, and there are some pretty major changes. So let's get into this and do a quick dive on all of them. Three, two, one, go. The Trek Roscoes for 2022 have had one major change, and actually, that's an understatement. They've actually had a few changes. Biggest change is they've gone from that 27 and a half plus size wheel up to the 29 with a big 2.6 on them. So same as pretty much every other brand has done, the Norco fluids are already that kind of level. Trek's done the same thing. It's gonna be faster rolling, but almost, if not the same amount of contact. You'll have a little longer contact patch as opposed to wider. It'll have a little less kind of resistance to it, still roll fast. 29 is taking over and that is a fact. The next big jump is it is a 140 mil suspension on it. That's right, 140. This is the same that is on the Fuel EX models currently, which is pretty massive. It's a 20 mil bump from last year, and that is a huge, huge change. It's gone to a longer reach at 45 mil. It's gone to an on average longer reach of 45 millimeters more throughout the entire line. The head tube angle has switched to a slack 65 degree angle, which is getting pretty aggressive, you know, in that kind of slack terrain. And that's gonna help you roll over things even easier, especially with these big 29s now. You'll be able to take over anything without even slowing down. It's got a steep C tube angle at 73 degrees, and that is gonna complement that head tube angle as well as those 29s. You are in a power position, again, to just be faster and faster, but, that slack head tube is gonna make it a fun, playful bike still. It's coming in at 430 mil chainstay length, which is impressive for 29 inch wheels. Keeping that C tube angle as steep as it is, it's gonna be able to keep that chainstays really tight. So you're gonna be able to have a really agile 29 bike, slack head tube, you're gonna roll over everything with big wheels. This is gonna be an impressive, impressive model. Big, big changes as well. I mean, there's too many to mention. This has got everything the Enduro Bike customer wants and everything everyone has been asking for. You are jumping to Boost 148 on it, which is a very nice touch. This is the through axle, obviously with Boost 148, there's no other way to do it. Through axle on both the front and rear wheels on the seven, eight, and the newest nine. Comes with increased clearance for a bigger dropper post so you can really get those big 170 mil ones in the larger sizes. And even in smaller sizes now, you'll be able to fit a bigger post in there, which is really fantastic. They'll ship with pretty similar to what they were, except for in the bigger sizes, they get a bit bigger, but the smalls are still pretty short. You'll be able to upgrade down the line though. Big wide handlebars, which is kind of weird. They didn't come with this kind of standard now, 780 mils. It's always nice because you can cut them down if you want, but if you don't, well, don't worry, you've got huge handlebars you don't need to buy aftermarket ones. Nice piece of armor on the down tube so it's gonna protect itself more. The ISCG mounts for all the chain guides so you can put some of those on. They're not really necessary, but they look cool. And if you're doing some more aggressive downhill, there might be a chance now with this bike that you can take this from the top of Whistler right down to the bottom. The Roscoe 6 has not changed. That is staying true to what it is, so don't worry if you have an order for those. Those are being pushed forward and through. They have added an extra small size with 27 and a half, just the regular 2.6 width though. And that is a nice thing, as well as a medium large size, which is gonna fit that perfect range throughout Trek, which is excellent. So up in front of you are some of the new model pitches. I will do a quick breakdown on all of them. Subscribe to this channel to see the individual ones. That's right, there is a Roscoe 9 now out, and it is an impressive machine. This is going up against the Fuel EX7 in part spec, which is pretty cool and it, it kind of makes sense. Where the Merlins went, the Roscoe's will lead right after it, and then you'll lead straight into those full suspensions. All right guys, big change to the Roscoe series. Let's uh, subscribe and comment below which one you're gonna get. Check them out and we'll see these videos up here very, very soon. Thank you.